Alrighty, folks, here is a quick recap of the uh, last find from day two, the uh, signet ring, and then we'll just pick it right up from there for the rest of the trip. Alrighty, guys, Troy's walking up to me. I gave him a wave of the hat and he yelled silver, and I go, nope, not silver. I'm hoping it's the other thing. It's small. It's in the hole, buddy. I'm going to let you pull it out. Here's the imprint right there, and I dropped it. It's right there. It's really small. All right. Ooh, you got you. That is an old ring, sir. Yes, sir. That is old. There you go. It's got, got an R. It's a signet yeah. ring. I don't know. If this, I don't know if this is going to be real gold, guys. But it's plated. But that is an old ring, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we'll clean that up when we get to the truck, gang. But Rob, Rob gets his own ring for the trip. This is three rings for the trip now, sir. I'm telling you, Boom. Buddy. All right. Alrighty. And folks, this was my very next find right after the ring. Hey folks, I was doing a bouncy mid twenties there. It did hit twenty seven. Uh, and at first, I said, "Wow, well, it's not deep enough to get a silver." And then, guys, the signal turned out to be way down there. Yeah, it's a good six inches. And I saw the back, and I saw oh, it's a memorial. It's got lines. And then I said, "That's not a memorial. It's got all kind of lines going different directions." And I flip it over. And it's some type of token, guys. It's not going to be silver. Oh, no, it's a foreign coin. Ten Groschen. All right. It's way too light to be silver, guys. It's probably going to be... Oh, it's got a... It's got a Deutschland Eagle on the back. Uh, Republic of Osterich. Oh, this has got to be old. Check that... Check that old eagle on there. That's, that's the old European eagle. All right, stand by. All right, guys, I just uh, did a little uh, saliva on this, and there it is, the close-up, 1953 on it, which uh, it's not my oldest coin of the weekend, but that's that's an old coin, guys. That's exactly 70 years old. All right, I'm going to look this up. Well, folks, we're so far out here in the country, we don't have an Internet signal, so future Rob will come in and cut in right here and tell you what this coin is. All right, folks, future Rob here. Let's tell you about this foreign coin. Alrighty, folks, I was pretty close with this coin here. This is the uh, European Heraldic Eagle. This is the uh, Austria-German Eagle with their coat of arms, uh, with the broken chain signifying when they became an independent country. Uh, but this is in German, Republic with a K. Osterich is German for the Republic of Austria. This coin was demonetized in 20... 01 when the European Union went to the uh, went to the euro coin this was phased out so there you go guys cool little fine Let's see. Alrighty, guys I'm with Troy he just came around and said you got to come over to my side he's out there in the far field where the big old oaks are and uh, he's got two silver rosies which gives Troy three silvers for the day and I showed him my Republic of Osterich coin with the rope oh, oh you just dropped the coin that's it. Right there. Yeah. All right, there's Troy's two rosies, which means Troy has uh, three silvers for the day. And a ring. And a ring. So four silvers for the day. All right, Rob's got to get going here. Well, I do have a gold-plated ring. Yeah, and look at that coin. Did you show him your coin? Yes, my <sighs> Republic of Osterich. That is ridiculous. I've never even heard of that. I, 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 never I tried looking it up. We have no internet, so <laughs> we're, we we're out here in the boonies, guys. Germany. Well, folks, I'm around the back side of the church here. Troy's still out in the wooded field where he got the two rosies. I wasn't having much luck there, so I said, I'm going to come back around the side of the church. And gang, as you can see, that pinpointer's 10, 11 inches down. I almost gave up on it. I said, ah, it's going to be just a pipe or something. But guys, there it is. There's your ball's canning jar lid. Uh, I might have cracked it, guys, because I was pretty violent getting this out, but it's still intact. I'll clean that up later, but there we go, guys, a canning jar lid. That'll date back to the 1909 church. Boom. Oh my gosh, guys, it finally happened. It's been like 30, 45 minutes since I found that canning jar lid. Nothing but clad and trash. And guys, I got me a brown coin. I don't know, 23, 24, and I can't see the back. But I was figuring, you know, it's going to be my 68th memorial. But no, zoom in the front, guys. That is a 1953. Rob finally gets a butt wheat. Hallelujah off the church property. All right, well, it's not three silvers, but it's a it's an old coin. Boom. 
Well, good people, there's Mr. Troy digging one more signal before we leave. He went around the back and the side. And I uh, got two more weedies, so I think he's at, he's at six or seven, maybe eight weedies for the day. I've got one. And uh, the only reason he's digging through these roots because he said it sounds like a silver sound. We will let you know. Alrighty, folks, we have moved to... Uh, Oh, let's just say a public park area here in North Florida. We're not going to show you the city. Troy's first signal, 27. 27 Merc. That's a little rough. Uh, silver number five for the day. Unreal. I've got one weedy today, people. Troy's first signal is a Merc. Mine's a fired rifle bullet. All right. All righty, guys. On a screaming signal here, I got that. I think. I think that might be an old fuel pump. I think maybe uh, it looks pretty old all right if anybody knows please let me know all right guys here is the end of day two we are at the hotel room Troy has put some uh, well he's put all his finds out layout for his TikTok uh, channel that he did a video for guys Troy has been killing it these two days five dollars and 25 cents in quarters 37 dimes for three dollars and 70 cents 83 pennies so that is 141 holes with just, well, no, you add in the three nickels is 144 holes with just clad. Um, and there's all, that's not even his trash, guys. That's just his brass and his copper and his lead that he's going to recycle for cash. And, oh, I found one of these too, Troy. Or is that the one I found? That might be the one I found. And anyway, guys, here's his other finds. He's got 11 Wheaties so far for the trip, including... This absolutely gorgeous 1916 that is in just primo condition, wheat lines included. And then one Canadian weedy, we call him a Canuck a a weedy. 53. He's got two tokens, a Chuck E. Cheese. Can't have a trip without a Chuck E. Cheese token. And a no cash value car wash token. And a token that he thinks somebody hammered out or put on the railroad. He's got a little two ringer bullet. Uh, I'm not going to say this is Civil War, but probably somewhere post-Civil War. He's got a little two-ringer. Um, this really cool uh, skeleton key door discussion, or this might be for a trunk. But that is uh, brass or copper and for a skeleton key. And then a mystery piece that we don't know what it is, but it is brass with threads on the outside. The lock you saw earlier is one car. He got this today, guys. It is solid copper. He thinks it's like a boot plate heel. I don't know, but it is shaped like a like the back of a boot heel. But we have no idea, no writing. He got this today in the park we're at. Looks like a silver wash, I would say like a chalice, but it's hollow, guys. So is it a candle holder that the wax can run down? Uh, it's old, guys. And it's silver wash. It is beautiful. One uh, shotgun head stamp, uh, Western Expert, number 12. His little uh, factory building that sat on top of something. You can see that broke off there. That's all metal. An accordion reed. Two uh, costume rings. Both of these came out of the church. And then, guys, five silvers today. The... Uh, well, no, the beautiful Merc out of the church, the 1909 church today. That was one of his first finds. And then he got the sterling ring, which you've already seen the sterling in a close-up. And then he got two Mercs out of the wooded, or two, excuse me, he got two Rosies out of the uh, wooded section of the church. And then he went and got the Merc out of the park. That's a little ugly. But who cares? It's a silver coin. Five silvers for mr troy today all righty folks we'll be showing you my uh my stuff tomorrow all righty guys there's mr troy at his truck we are starting day three on our two-state road trip and let me show you where we're at to start the day guys we're doing this old county courthouse right here i'll find out the year before you see this but uh it's now a public library we checked with the county and uh they didn't say we couldn't do it. So we're taking that yepper. We're gonna do this whole back area right here, guys. I'm gonna say that's 20s, 30s maybe, maybe even earlier. All right, cool design building. 
Well, gang, I don't have a coin yet, but I just dug that on a 2627 screaming signal. It is copper and it is old, and I don't have a clue. Alrighty, guys, this is Mr. Troy at the truck. We just put the detectors back in. We've been doing this old ball field slash park beside a school here. We are outside the town of Stark. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because there's a big prison there. So uh, Troy went over and did the swing sets way over in the corner. I did this tile lot and swing sets there. You can see it's all metal. And guys, we decided to leave the cameras in the car and just have fun. Use a little reverse psychology. And it paid off, guys. I did great on that tot lot there behind the basketball court. I got... I got three great finds. This is almost my best spot of the trip. First thing I got on my first signal in there, 11-12, thought it was going to be a pencil eraser. We got this little, uh, probably used to be a gold-plated ring, a little kid's ring, stone's missing. And then the second thing we got, I said, man, that looks a little bit bigger than a quarter. It is a presidential token, James Buchanan. We're going to look up and see the dates of those, but that was deep, guys. That was like seven, eight inches. Hey, gang, future Rob here again. Let's tell you about this uh, presidential token. Alrighty, folks, here is the presidential token on uh, the Numista website that talks about uh, coins and tokens. Uh, this was an issued from the Shell Oil Company, and this was issued in 1968. There you go. And then on another 11-12 signal, guys, I got me a little star charm. So three finds out of the little tot lot. Boom! That's our fifth ring of the trip. Yeah. Boom. Guys, I just told Troy I got a little micro card, and I said, that might be the card from Toys. And Troy said, yep, there's his eyeballs. <laughs> we were on this 1940 property, guys. We thought it might be a little bit older, but not only did they give us this permission, the lady runs the historical society, and she told us, come down and do that yard. So we've got two permissions here, guys. And uh, I need to find something. i got to get caught up here. All right. Alrighty, folks, we're now on a street uh, that's got 10 foot curb strips. That's got to be 1890s. All right, we're going to see if we have some luck here. And we didn't have any luck here. This area had already been hit by some other detectorist uh, earlier in the year, one of the neighbors told us. So we moved on again. All right, folks, here's some of the trash, and there's some of the relics and cars I found up there. But real quick, here's the coins. I did almost as well as Troy. I got. Uh, four dollars and quarters, which is uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen quarters, three nickels, thirty-two dimes, and fifty-nine memorial pennies. Uh, and then we got uh, three wheat pennies and the sixty-two nickel. And I'll show you the cars and some of the relics here next. folks and don't forget everybody that makes a comment during this live premiere is eligible and in the duck race on my uh, Sunday morning stream for mystery silver coins so please make sure you leave a comment thanks a lot folks appreciate you watching